Hey, how's it going? This is Jay. And if you're interested in breaking into cybersecurity and want to earn three coveted, highly sought after certifications within cybersecurity, all with the opportunity to earn about $20,000 in scholarships for free, I got a resource for you. Let's check it out. Perfect. All right, we're going to want to head over to Google. The resource that we're going to talk about today is SANS Academy. So you want to click on Cyber, SANS Cyber Academies. And in here, SANS Academy is a nonprofit that provides top-notch, top-tier cyber training. Um, they have a, a lot of different components to what they do, but we're going to scroll down here so you can kind of see some of the impacts that they have. You get over 87% job placement within 12 months. There's not a lot of programs that can that can claim that, right? They've given almost close to 5,000 scholarships uh, awarded. And then, you know, on average, the salary, starting salary is 87,000. So imagine going from not knowing anything about cybersecurity to being able to land a job and making $87,000 a year. For a lot of people, you know, that's what their goal is, to be able to get break into cybersecurity and then have the means to be able to grow and expand their career. Here are the three certifications that are provided with the training. So you have your SEC 275, which is the fundamental for computers, technology, and security. You have your SEC 401, which is security essentials, networking, and endpoint and cloud. And then you have your SEC 504, which is hackers, tools, techniques, and incident handling. These certs alone are worth $20,000. I can show you what the breakdown looks like here. So this is SEC 275. You scroll down, it talks about exactly what you'll learn in the breakdown for the course. I'm a 13 module course. And scroll down a little bit more and you get the price here. So $3,100 plus the exam fee is there. We can do the same thing, SEC 401, $8,780 plus the not a thousand dollars for the certification um so that's there same thing for the sec 504 eight thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars if we um look at that total that's about twenty thousand dollars just for these certifications we'll switch back over so the timeline for this is going to be the applications open in may so i wanted to put it out early you got about a few days to prep a few weeks to prep um, and then the deadline is May 22nd, and then you start training in August, and then you complete it by the following year. So it's a one-year program. Here are some employees and nonprofits that support it, but then down here, the FAQ, it kind of breaks down who is this program eligible for. Anybody in the U.S., uh, applicants must demonstrate an aptitude for cybersecurity. So just making sure that you either take some courses or are familiar with cybersecurity but it's really meant for folks who don't have a cybersecurity background. And so if you look here, you know, current full-time or part-time students, uh, undergrad or graduate programs are not eligible because this program is pretty intensive. It does require, it's, it's as if you're taking a full-time um, degree as well. So they want to make sure that you balance your workload in terms of if you're doing a degree, complete that degree and apply. Here is some information about, you know, graduates. So if you're a graduate that earned a cybersecurity degree, or information security related, you're not eligible. They kind of want to teach you everything from the ground up. And believe me when I tell you this, this is really good information. SANS does a great job at providing people a solid foundation. You're learning from the best here. So great opportunity to kind of build up from it. But if you have an undergrad degree in cybersecurity, they will they don't have a problem, you know, providing that opportunity or fortune that opportunity. And then for those who already have a, a certification, you're not eligible because, you know, this program is meant to be able to help someone from the ground up. And then prior work experience in cybersecurity or information security is not eligible because essentially they want to help people get into the field, not people who are already in the field. Application process is in here. So they'll talk about that. You have to take an aptitude test. Uh, if you successfully complete the aptitude test, you'll be screened uh, and get the opportunity to join the program. Um, this program is 100% scholarship based, meaning, you know, based off the work, yes, there's nothing that you have to pay. And like I said, that's about $20,000. A time commitment, it, say here's the time commitment. Each course takes about 150 hours for preparation um, and you complete each course within a three month window. And so 
it could be very time intensive. So make sure that you, you, when you're thinking about doing this, you don't have anything else that you're focusing on. And then certifications are included. These are the certifications that we spoke about. And then here, the competitiveness, it talks about the program. You know, not everyone will be accepted, but essentially keep on applying. You know, every year they open up this opportunity and they're about to open it up now. So wanted to share this information with you. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If you think this information is useful, please share it with others. And I look forward to sharing more information with you. Have a good one, everyone.